And I brought out in my invocation, it was all in Ojibwe and not all of our people understand. So, I'm going to translate some parts of it. It's always good that, um, that our, our elected officials, our reservation leaders, put their tobacco out there and remember those money do that we rely on as a people. And I also ask that each one of our elected officials be helped in their position to help the Anishinaabe people that live on this reservation. You know, we have Mandaman, we have Sheldon, and Murudum, and Wagwish, Virgil, District 1. Be helping also Ogimabanes, District uh, 2, East Lake, and also Scott Bears, who is the representative from Ausumuk. They, they all be helped. Um, one of the things I talked about was COVID-19. And I have uh, been hearing that there are some Anishinaabe that have been refusing to get vaccinated or saying that they don't believe in vaccin vac being vaccinated. You know, the old people that raised me, they, were, they knew very, very little English. They were, well, we in gay Anishinaabe, they were totally Anishinaabe, and I never heard them once say that, that being vaccinated was not not acceptable to us as a people. I remember all the shots that we got over the course of the year for polio, smallpox, uh, tuberculosis. Uh, there are just a whole number of... Uh, um, diseases that we were vaccinated for. And I never once heard those old people say that that was against anything uh, we as Anishinaabe believed in to get vaccinated. I can tell you, especially with this new strain of virus that has come into this country, it's very contagious. And for those of you who have not been vaccinated, you're going to feel really bad if you should catch a virus and, virus and pass it on to some of your close relatives and you lose them in the process. Uh, you got to keep that in mind because I don't see any basis of uh, any reason for people to refuse to be vaccinated. It is not something we were taught. Those old people would have um, brought that up. Also, I wanted to talk about drug use on our reservation. It's mostly our younger people that are into drug use, and I want them to remember that we as Anishinaabe were given our teachings in our ceremonies to rely on as a people to kind of a, a source of support as we're going through difficult times in our lives. And that instead, a lot of our young Anishinaabe people are taken the easy way out. They think it's the easy way out and go out and use drugs uh, thinking uh, it's a, a way to escape for all that hardship they're going through. Um, you got to remember, uh, all of this was put in place for us as a people to to hang on to. Mio again about the doc and the goyong. That's what our people used to say. That's what's going to help us through those hurdles and hardships in our lives. All those ceremonies and putting our tobacco every day. And we've lost so many young people to ODs. So my advice to our, our young people is to get back to our teachings. You are never going to be Chimukaman, no matter what you do. 
You will always be a Nishinaabe. So follow our teachings and do what we are given, and that will um, take care of you in your lifetime. And I um, just asked for several other things, like uh, offer tobacco to the Money Dugan in the Lake, Malax Lake, Mississauga, Ning. You know that they're going to start ice fishing, and that um, you're able to bring plenty of fish, and that we always be provided by those Money Dugan at Lake in that way. Also, the other lakes and rivers, uh, they're money dug there. And that's where we also get our fish and our wild rice. And those money dug uh, accept that tobacco and provide us uh, with the fish and wild rice. So we always have those things to eat in our lifetime. And also, I offered them the tobacco up to those animals we rely on that agreed to be used by um, used by us as an Anishinaabe as a source of food. The deer, and the other animals like the rabbits, Wabuzug, that there be plenty of them. I can remember as a kid that all winter long. That's pretty much all we eat was rabbit. So, so all of that comes back to us in that, um, all of those money do I mentioned provide uh, support to your reservation people living here, people that come from here. So they're not without, they're always being be provided for. That's about it, miigwech.